Hey, quick notation before we begin. I just wanted to say uh, I apologize. I did miss last Sunday's upload uh, due to a family trip. Um, you're about to see some of the scenery right now. Hey, welcome to another episode of Legion Lee Motorsports. I'm your host, Isaiah. And today, with the different scenery, uh, <laughs> I am going to be doing a little bit of uh, work on the Gallant. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, today's episode, we're going to do the fog lights, or as much as we can do. And then we're going to do the um, actuator for the hot and cold and check a relay for the fan. Uh, you'll see. Let's dive in. Okay, we are back at it again with some gallant action. Uh, it is nighttime due to work schedules and things of that nature. This is uh, technically the only time we can film. So today, what we are going to do is a couple of things which previously stated in the intro. And this is going to be one of them. Okay. So, we pay attention to this. Yeah, that's no good. Minus the leaves, uh, condensation, and things of that nature. These shocks have had it. It, it, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do long story short so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pop these off so down here minus the leaves all righty there we go so down here there's a little c-clip this thing is really jacked up uh we just pull this out with probably a flathead pop that off and then same deal up top here pop that off right up top let me see if i can there we go pop that off right there and then both sides will pop out this one seems to be cracked but it's okay we got a new one no big deal and same deal on the opposing side all right just like that pry it off and we're going to do this one right here. Okay, this thing's going through a couple of cameras. There we go. One's off. Let's start with the top. See if the bottom's gonna cooperate. There we go. Alrighty. This is what we're working with. The brand new unit. So <clears throat> goes on here. We're gonna give it a push. That should lock on. And we're gonna do the same thing to the top and be done. Okay, so new shocks are installed. Let's test it out. All right. Alrighty, there's no squeak. So now let me push the button and see what we got. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, way better. Okay. Before, I used to just swing up and slam, so that's not good. Back window back there. All right, next. All right, which brings us to the front. This is one fog light and it looks like it is cracked and hazed over so we're going to replace that one 
and on this side just doesn't have one so we're gonna be adding one over there um, this one fog light does work so it's not something where it's a blown fuse and I got to chase a whole bunch of wires so we will swap this out first thing we got to do is get the front end of the car up make sure your e-brake is on we're gonna take out the plastics mainly on the bottom and uh, so we have access to the back of the fog light and then we're gonna take the original one out okay taking a quick look under here <clears throat> That's a little, actually a lot bit nasty under here, but that's from the old valve cover gasket. And then it looks like something's fresh over here. But uh, that aside, um, we have some Phillips snaps. Some of them are broken and some of them are missing, but we're gonna take this panel down and take it from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it is out. There's three bolts here. that have to come loose. So we got one on the bottom, right there, one up top, and one on the right side. And, oh, hold on a second. There we go. So this is what comes out. And then these are the three bolts that bolt in. This is the bulb size. Okay. And it seems this piece bolts in visa these bolts here. And that's pretty much about it. So we're gonna take this loose and compare uh, the fog lights I have and the um, OEM ones. I got aftermarket ones, which are slightly different, but let's see how different. So let me take this off, take it out, see what we got. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is the aftermarket unit. This is the original. And um, let's take a quick look at this for a second. Okay. So this one um, is the original unit. This is plastic, right? This is the aftermarket unit, which I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in doing this, uh, I guess, upgrade. Um, but it is gonna need some uh, wire splicing because the plug is different. See that there? And then this one is smaller. There we go. See there. So, uh, weatherproof connector, which is great, especially for the application. Um, but yeah, so this is completely different. Um, the original bolts in with this top piece here facing up here so it goes like this 
has uh, two pieces that slide in right there. Then you got your plug mounts in pretty much like this, pretty much. Um, and then I'm gonna keep this, of course, but with this new unit, this piece to the top, and this is glass, by the way, it's glass, so it won't haze over like this one, which is an upgrade in itself. Uh, this one here doesn't, let me see, you two hand this real quick, hold on a second. Okay, this one kind of pushes into position, kind of, and works out kind of like that. Let's take a look at the back. And yeah, I'm definitely thinking about making the leap. I uh, couldn't find no... OEM uh, replacements, so this will definitely be the next best bet. Uh, doesn't really have a way to secure it, technically, but it's kind of a push to close type of deal. So this holds into this hole, and then this keeps it from falling back kind of like a sandwich deal. So let's test fit it. Let's see what it looks like. And that's how she looks in position. Not too bad. Some subtle adjustments here and there, but doesn't look too bad. So yeah, let's uh, actually turn it on. Let's see how much brighter it is than the original. I don't believe we have a reference to see how bright the previous one was, but trust me, it was not bright. So let's try this one out. And there we are, that's the headlight. And this is the fog light. Huge, huge, huge improvement over what it was. So yeah, I think it's a keeper. Okay, so, yeah, we'll connect it up and, uh, yeah, take it from there. That looks good. And all I did just to test it was uh, take the two wires and plug them into the existing plug. Um, red is power, black is ground, simple enough. So, yeah, got to make sure they're even and, yeah, take it from there. It looks good. There we go. So we are all wired up. Two wires, pretty simple. Red's power, black's ground on the fog light. Yellow is power and black is ground. So you put those two together. Um, so we're gonna button up everything down here and move to the other side. But I can already tell you, this one is missing the fog light basket. So we're gonna have to swing over to a junkyard and grab a fog light basket. Now, I'm pretty sure that's not the proper term for it, but we're gonna call it a fog light basket. So uh, I'm gonna go to a junkyard after I find out which one has what we need and We'll be there tomorrow. Okay, first one in the yard. All right, we got foggies. And these are glass, nice. Okay, so this one's a 3.8 non-Myvec. They were ready to take this thing out, okay. So let's see if this has what we need. So let's go into here. Uh, no, that's not the same. 
has to have that cover on it. This one's a 2006. 3.8. Yep. All right, so on to the next one. All right, next one's 2009. All righty. All right, we got fog lights. Now, these are definitely different. Let's take a look up here. Oh yes, completely, completely different. Nope, that's not gonna work. Alrighty. This one's 2.4. All right, next one's 2005. Oh, these are sealed, okay. See. Nope, completely different. All right. So this one's not going to work. On to the next. All right. 3.8 V6 LS. This is 2005. All right, let's see. Oh, these are sealed too. And let's see what that looks like. Nope, that's not gonna work. Ah, not having any luck. Alrighty, so. Okay, this is the last one. 2012. Alrighty. And this has no front bumper. Nice. 2.4 and it's been crashed over here anyway all righty well better luck next time i guess and uh, i'll keep an eye out for that so to be continued on the fog light quest all right we are back to the respected crib and it looks like we are going to have to be to be continued on the fog light basket um if we look up in here without the glare you can see the original pieces are still attached but they're all broken off so let me see if I can get a good alrighty so you see these pieces are still here but broken off so um, we just basically have to find uh, a complete piece and uh, kind of take it from there. So we'll get that fog light in soon. As soon as we find it, that is. But um, wiring for it is right here. So that's simple enough. Yeah. Okay, so that brings us to our next issue, which hopefully I will be able to resolve okay so key is non-position right and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the heat on okay you hear that weird noise okay um we're gonna take this glove box stuff apart Take all of those goodies out. Gonna pop that loose. Of course, this is a two handed job. Let me see if I could. There we go. Alrighty. So, uh, we're gonna pop off all of these screws here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to replace the motor that turns it from hot to cold. Here it's making all sorts of noise. Well, let's get back there first and you can actually see. 
you can actually see what's going on. All right, so we're gonna take loose all of these Phillips up here, down there, over here, over here, up here, and down here. And we're gonna take this panel out. All right, so let's take that down and let's see what's back there. Okay, once you take loose all of those screws, this is what's behind the uh, glove box. But we're gonna focus our attention over to here so right now I, uh, I have it on cold. I actually had to move the actuator, but I'm gonna show you why. All right, so the issue is, is that when you turn the temperature, it goes to hot, but it won't go back to cold. So let's move it to hot. Let's see what it does. All right, you see that? All right, now we're gonna move it to cold. And that's all she does is scream. So I have to move this by hand back down, which imagine trying to uh, adjust your hot and cold by having to rip out the glove box every time so that's a no-go. So we're gonna replace this motor right here. So as I was at the junkyard, I picked up this unit, which is from a 2012. So I'm gonna assume it's good. Of course, we're gonna test it out and make sure that it goes to hot and cold. We're not gonna burn out the motor, bringing it back and forth, back and forth, but we're gonna get it done. So um, it's two Phillips, one here one on the back side, and it slides right out. So let me get those loose and we will be right back. Okay, so we are back. All right, so I'm going to move this actuator. All righty, I'm gonna move this actuator to cold. to hot perfect all right back to cold excellent okay so this is the new actuator we pulled off the old one sitting right here all right so we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna make sure this one goes forward and backwards. And then after that, we should be good to go. So we're gonna take it and slide it in nice and gentle-like. Right there, right in the spot. And it's as simple as that. Replace the two screws. There's one. And then let's get number, oh, get number two in there. This one's a little hard to reach. Also, a little safety tip. This is the heater core right here. If you're reaching back here because this pipe goes down, you're going to get burnt. So make sure you're doing this with uh, the car sitting for an hour or better. Worst case, it'll be warm and not hot. Okay, so uh, let's see. We're going to put... This screw in here, probably gonna need two hands, very tight fit. And um, before we do close up everything back here after testing, I do want to test that blower motor relay. Currently it works. Let me turn on the fan. When we first got the car, it did not. And I ended up replacing that and it fired right up. But I got a backup just in case, and I want to test that also. So um, I'll unplug that plug, plug it into my new one, and do that after testing this guy. All righty, so the new one is all installed. We got all of our fingers crossed. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it to hot.
Perfect. <sighs> and now we're gonna move it to cold. Here we go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yep, doesn't go anymore. That is perfection. All right, so glad we got that fixed. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out the blowing motor. So we're gonna unbuckle this guy. It's a little hard to unbuckle, but you can see where it's at. So let me see if I could reach in here with two hands and get it done. Okay, so we got the new one dangling here. Let's see if we get some wind. Oh, yes, we do. All right. Well, that's a mission accomplished. At least we got something out of the trip. So um, this is working, which uh, dictates the hot or cold. And then this makes sure the blower motor works. So we're going to do a demonstration just to show you what happens when this is not plugged in. Okay, so let me unplug this one. And yeah, we'll take it from there. Okay, as you can see, it is not plugged in. And here we go. Silent. All right, so let's cut this off. This is auto. That is off. Okay, so we're gonna plug this into the existing one. Couple seconds. Okay, she's plugged in. Perfect. All right. So that is excellent. We're going to put everything back and test it. All righty. So we got the AC on and it is frosty cold. Uh, we don't have any heat yet because the car is not warmed up. So we'll be back and make sure that is working, but she is icy cold. That's perfect. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn it to hot. super hot okay and with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed hopefully I can get this video out um, where I'm going there's not going to be much reception so uh, I'm gonna try to get this out to you uh, today which will be a little bit early but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If uh, this is your first time jumping to the YouTube channel, definitely consider subscribing. Until then, make sure you hit the bell icon and thumbs up. And I will see you guys next episode. And remember, knowledge is power.